Right, good morning. Hello again. Welcome to Chapel St. Leonard's. And uh, you won't be surprised to see, yeah, I'm not actually roach fishing today. I haven't got a waggler out there in the North Sea. But we're on the east coast of the UK. And on a beautiful Saturday morning on March the 31st, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's barely a breath of wind. We're at high tide, so it's about half past eight in the morning. And we're hoping to catch smooth hands, some flounders, whiting maybe. Anything that swims, but it would be lovely to get a smooth hand. Fish I've never caught before. But then again, I haven't done a lot, I've done a lot of sea fishing. I remember my good friend Carl on my left. He's, he's got two rods out. He's just setting up at the moment. And we're going to be fishing with We've got squid, mackerel, we've got some uh, um, big prawns, we'll see what they take. We need, but, uh, I know uh, peeler crabs are good for smooth hands, but we haven't got any of those today. Oh, got a bite! That was a bit of a thump, that one. So you won't be surprised to hear, I'm no expert at sea fishing. Carl's certainly done a lot more than I have. And uh, the end of March, early April, is a, apparently a good time for smooth hounds, dogfish, uh, on this part of the beach. Hence the reason, if you look over my shoulder, you can see there's three other anglers, four other anglers. All the rods are out. And uh, somebody's already had a dogfish about so big, uh, just as we were setting up, so I'm not going to on film. Uh, but hopefully we can get one or two on film today. Definitely had a couple of knocks on this cast. It's not took it though. I think seaweed counts, does it?
Well, one of the prawns is gone. So I did have a bite, and it ripped one of the prawns off. Let's try a single on that one. You can take it. All we can get. <laughs> Probably nowhere near far enough. <laughs> Guess it's getting warmed up. <laughs> yes, I would absolutely love one of them smooth hands. Something, any, any, even a little, and that'd be nice. I know. Uh, couple of anglers, I'll just pan round a little bit for you. So a little bit to our left there is Carl, the first angler you can see, there's a couple more down there. They've already had a small dogfish stroke from Ruth and a little one, probably only a couple of pound, but I would love one of them, even a small one. I'm counting it as a shark, it's part of the shark family. And so I've had a couple of bites and just, uh, I've had, um, Prawn ripped off on the first cast. They didn't quite take it though. Waves are really crashing. The tide's turning. Should we start to go out soon anyway? And we'll follow it out. It's, some, it's just a fish I've been uh, thinking about doing for a while. Just never sort of got round to it, but weather forecast was good. It's a good time of year to come and do this. River seasons are closed now, so a little bit of sea fishing. Yeah, them lovely, beautiful, smooth hound fish. Part of the shark family. Something I've never caught. And nice for changes, but also something different. I think we're going to recast this. Five one zero, mainline point six zero, Fladden Paternoster rig. Did the business today. Flip it onto your impact line as it hits the water. Oh, that's clever. Release, isn't it? Releases the bait, yeah. tightens up, and your bait sits away from your weight, so you're not going to be hitting your fish with the weight. Yeah, very clever rig. Sits out. So that's the baits we've got prawns, chunks of mackerel, uh, and then we've got some sand eels as well that Carl's got. Um, what fish can resist that, eh? Those really big juicy prawns and the mackerel, slips of mackerel. Even if we don't get a smooth on it, let's hope we can get some flounders or, or white in today. They'd be nice as well. So yeah, that's the bait we're using. Nothing left. <laughs> All the bait's gone. <laughs> That's... All four prawns gone. Two prawns on what could resist.
I'll see if that one produces anything. I think we're in. I think we're in, Carl. No, maybe not. I think I lost it. That was a good bite, though. Unless it's of something small. We've got a flatten! Go fish! Go! Hey! <laughs> wow, nice one too! Beautiful! Look at that thing! Wow, what a beast! What an unusual fish, look at that, flounder. Well, I'm chuffed to bits with that. That's a lovely fish. Might not be impressive to you, but somebody doesn't see fish a lot. That's a nice fish. I'm just glad to have caught. <laughs> We're going to put him back. <laughs> Away she goes. Well, I'm impressed, and we'll let it go. With them flatties, flounders, I thought I'd missed it. Didn't put up much of a fight on this heavy gear. We'll have a look at the gear in a bit. Love being by the seaside there. Hear the waves crashing, it's just fantastic. Very peaceful.
the roar of the waves. It's just very therapeutic, I think. In a nice stressful week at work, go back and listen to the waves at the end of the week. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll live near the sea. If you're watching from all around the world, we're on the east coast of the United Kingdom. A place called Chapel St. Lenin's. A few miles uh, north of Skegness. And we're 60, 70 miles away from Nottingham. Some god bike developing there now. Yeah, Someone says they're going to go in it, go at it then. Right, so today we've got a special guest. We've got John Underwood. Uh, he's a local around here and he's been a lot of fishing around here recently. He's going to tell us how it's been performing this week, um, what the tides have been like, what fish are coming out and what are the best baits, most importantly. Go on there, John, take it away. Well, if you're after skate, two of the best baits is bluey and squid. You can get them on worm. I've had cod down here in the past. I fished uh, the back of the boat yard, which is further down towards Skeggy. Uh, there was a few cod coming out there, I had a go and I had 15 whiting to start off with then I smashed into the cod, then whiting, then cod and in the end I had 7 cod and about 35 whiting through the night and during the day and uh, down here, when the bass are here in the smooth hand, it's good fishing at the moment there's been quite a lot of weed so you sort of like getting 10 minute casts bring it in see what it's like i've been using pulley rigs with short pulley rigs because of the tide and that it was about a 6 30 or 6 40 yesterday high and a 6 40 again today i went worming this morning managed to pump 150 worm and that and uh so you've been fishing last night then so what were you catching last night what did you actually catch last what, night whiting and dogfish oh you had some dogfish so. yeah and so, then the weed come yeah and as you know what weed's like it's yeah, horrendous yeah. twists around your line and that so, so then we had to stop fishing for a little bit so the dogfish then it's really interesting because i'd love to get a smooth hand or a dogfish on film how, well, what big, you how want big was a dogfish dogfish was about two and a half pound biggest one yeah, yeah my mates just had one not so long ago just before I come walking by like and what's the, what's the biggest you've caught on this stretch of the beach? Dogfish? Uh, about, say about two and a half. Yeah, yeah, it's about a normal size then, really. Yeah, it? yeah, but um, for you locals out there um, and people that are just starting bass fishing, I shouldn't really say it, but I'm not that sort of a person. Go down to Gibraltar Point, Drake Road, uh, Drummond Road, then go on to Drake Road, back of the golf course, Seacroft, uh, you cross over the moor, you fish down there. I've had bass up to ten pound at the moment. I've had regularly had bass up to six, seven, eight pound. Wow. One day I had about twenty bass. Not one was under five pound. All on worm. Didn't want the crab. They wanted worm. Right. So with the dogfish and that is for all you not. youngsters out there as well. If you want to get your dad, take you down there. It's a bit of a trek. But 30 yards, 40 yards out, you'll smash bass all day long if they're there. That sounds like we're going there next with our next video, I think. That, John, that's actually brilliant information. Did you catch um, the rugby last night on ragworm as well then? No, not ragworm. Uh, on, uh, I had one on the worm, yeah. which was uh, black log, black and then the rest of them come on squid. Brilliant. Uh, uh, John, that's absolutely fantastic. Great for joining us today. Um, uh, we'll see you again soon, thanks yeah, a lot. Yeah, I'll catch up with you again. Cheers. Thanks.
It's only been out there two minutes. I've lost three baits out of the four. What are you, uh, what are you using? Got. I'm using everything. Yeah. So. Oh, well, it looks like you're having a better time than me. <laughs> I might change my rig. And I'll tell you what, there's a load of weed out there from where I am. I'm not getting any. Dropping straight. I'm just back to Yeah. So I had a sand eel on. I had a prawn. Another sand eel. Uh, they seem to really like the prawns. Oh, wow, they will do. Yeah, they will. I think with two up rig, you're doubling your chances. Yeah, swap your rig over. Oh, nice chat that John Under was brilliant sharing all his uh, local knowledge absolutely fantastic lots of fishes here a lot as well up and down this coast <laughs> catching dogfish rays have been coming in bass cod but what you've got here on this beach is it's quite when the tide's in you've got quite a steep drop off um, for the first few meters be interesting to see it later on when the tide starts to go out. We'll follow it out. Another bite there. In the meantime, nice sunshine, not a breath, breath of wind. Should be in my shorts, really. We're booking speed out. Oh, yeah. No. Thought about it then. Bit of a chunk of sand, sand eel there, and that one. I think that was on two prawns. We'll try that one again then. Waves are absolutely crashing. Fantastic. No bait.
take a lift again. Oh, Lord's gone. While we're still kidding, John. We took all the bait off. Marvellous. What a nice chap he was. Sharing all his secrets. Yeah, I think we might do. During the closed river season, I think we might come back down here again. Double bait it again. Got these sand eels. A bit of squid. I think the odd touch on here, it's not developed into a proper bite. I think that probably, most of the bait's probably gone by now. Let's have a look. Anything that's left is a mackerel. Everything else is gone. We'll try that again. Come on, man, that's big cast. That's got fish written all over it, that cast. Oh, 
We've got two sand eels, or two pieces of sand eel on one hook, and a piece of mackerel and a sand eel on the other one. See that quickly developed into a bite. Come on then, that's big cast. That's got fish written all over it, that cast. Thinking about it, nearly took it then. See that swivel line pattern otter style down to the five ounce weight, and I've got two hook leathers coming off pattern otter style. I'll show you the packet in a minute that I'll come out of. Let's put another bait on that one. There we go. Are you getting any bites? Start to tell me, yeah. Very hard to tell. Well, my, my last cast and my bait uh, all came back untouched. Yeah. Are you getting any more prawns left? Because yeah, yeah. I'm getting more bites on prawns than anything else. But my, all my sand eels keep getting ripped off.
big cast. What single prawn on that one? I hope that produces a good. Here's me saying I've got no weed. So here's one we caught earlier. Look at this beautiful fish. Smooth iron, dogfish. Beautiful speckles. Unfortunately, it's not one I've caught, it's washed up on the beach. So it's dead, unfortunately. But they are a beautiful creature. Shame about this one. Probably died overnight and washed up in the high tide this morning. We're going to give him a burial at sea. What a nice change this has been. Come down on the east coast and see what we can catch. We had that nice flounder, we've seen the dead dogfish, unfortunately, to, to, it's met its demise overnight, probably. Um, but uh, it's been a lovely morning's fishing, beautiful weather, and it's always lovely coming down to the east coast. And uh, dare I say, not on the Trent for once, and uh, all fishing any matches, but uh, a bit of a change of scenery uh, is always nice. But uh, you know, next time we might get one of those smooth hands or, or big dogs. Uh, but we'll have to see but uh, it's always nice to get a PB which oh, that flying was sort of brilliant but I hope you enjoyed the video uh, break from the norm but please hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon bye for now I think we're in I think we're in Carl That was a good bite though. This is something small. Yes, we've got a flatten! <laughs> wow, nice one too! Beautiful! Look at that thing! Wow, what a beast! <laughs>